Hey everybody, how's it going? We're gonna be doing a uh, liquid ingredients tutorial and probably new creation, assuming that the tutorial is did not... Assuming that the tutorial is a tutorial and not trivial. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we need two cheesy dog and kind of cheesy dog? I don't know. Um, three orders to be fulfilled, power usage, ingredients. Hello again, my dear human partner. Please come in. I was just doing regular human stuff like breathing oxygen and listening to the wireless. Definitely not doing silly non-human things like coming up with a plan to take over the world. Hee hee hee. Ha ha. Anyways, I wanted to teach you a few things about liquid ingredients today. Some complex meals will require liquid condiments such as ketchup and mustard. Right now, um, I have this assembly line uh, capable of producing cheesy dogs, which are like regular hot dogs, but with cheese on top. What I want to do is change it so that it'll produce all the dogs. These are pretty much the same, but adding ketchup and mustard. The first step is to replace this regular assembler with an advanced assembler. Only advanced assemblers are capable of producing dishes that require liquid ingredients. So lefty clicky here, oops, and get the advanced assembler in here. We already used one of them for the challenge mode. Uh, right now, the advanced assembler configure it to produce all the dogs. Got it. Now close the machine setting panel. Now we only need to set up a couple of machines in order to supply the ketchup and mustard needed to assemble the dish. Liquid ingredients come from storage tanks and need to be pumped in order to reach the place where you need them. Select the storage tank in the parts list. Got it. Place one here, place one there. Fantastic. Place two of them in the locations mark on... Select a pump. Okay. Configure the storage tank so that it holds ketchup. Okie dokes. Now make sure that this guy holds mustard. Now close the machine settings panels for the storage tank. Now we have to set up the pipes in order to transport the liquids. First, right click on this pump in order to open the properties menu. New pipe connection. Now click on this. Now then add another pipe connection and connect it to there. Okay. So, in order to set each one of them up, I click on, right click on the pump, send it to the storage tank, then also send it to the assembler. And they can only have two inputs. Okay, that's fine. Now click the start button, and it'll pump everything over. It seems like these don't take up tiles, which is good. But um, they'll get a dog, they'll do that, and then do we get a visual indication that they pump anything? No, we don't. Okay, we don't get a visual indication of any sort of pumping. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. I would have liked like a glowing... Nah, it's whatever. It's whatever. Goodbye. I'm thinking the oxygen not included style uh, pump design. Anyways, new creation. Which seems like it's gonna... Is it gonna require fluids? It literally... It's gotta require fluids, right? Right? Oh, it's got to be on the on the burger, on the burger. This is the first practical use of the new sauce technology. Advanced assemblers, storage tanks, pumps, and liquid mixers are now available to you. Remember that only an advanced assembler can construct dis uh, dishes that require sauces, and that a pump will need to be used between every pipe connection. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's fine. So I... Okay, that's weird. I introduced two new dishes to showcase this new technology with word on the street that hype is building around the new Texas burger. Oh, barbecue sauce. Mm. Expect many orders of that. Finally, have a very special piece of technology for you. The AC-16, a programmable, uh, programmable computer that you can use for ultimate control over your kitchen. Oh, God. Oh, God. I really... Okay. I know that we can program in this. I don't... I don't... I, I don't, I don't want to... I, I don't... I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm down for that one. Okay, so... This one, we need fried chicken. Specifically fried chicken pieces. And then... A hot sauce. So, do I have a fried chicken pieces? Please have a fried chicken. No! Fried chicken! Why not? I don't know why it's not letting me do that. Is it because they took off? 
I don't know what I would have in that that they're uh that they're not letting me do the fried chicken. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to make that one. Uh, side salad. Give me the side salad. Thank you. Perfect. And then the Texas burger is gonna require cook patty, cheese, tomato, lettuce. Burger bun. I'm trying to think what would be the easiest start. I mean, I guess a cheeseburger is fine, right? It doesn't have bacon or anything like that. Cheesy dog cheeseburger? Cheeseburger will be fine. Uh, this I literally stole from the last episode, so um, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Um, let's make sure that the side salad works just while we're while we're getting everything going. Uh, let's have uh, conveyor belt fasts for the time being. Cool. Double check that the side salad works. It should. Hmm. I actually don't have this as uh, as tightly. God dang it. Stop. Whew. Uh, let's hope that that fire doesn't actually uh, doesn't give me a problem. I actually want to do one more thing here. How expensive is this computer? 10,000 versus 5,000. Wait. Order to detect side salad. Machines. When output is on, off when output is on. Ow! Nope. Yeah, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go basic right now. We're gonna, we're gonna do, do basic stuffs. Um, uh, add a connection here, dispense one tomato, pretty sure it's, um, pretty sure it's one, well, is it one, one, and one, or is it two, two, and two? I really should have just left this thing here. I was trying to be tricky, but yeah, you know, that's the way that that goes. Um, perform it once here, perform it once. Here, perform it once. Here, turn this on while it's pending. Ah, this is what I get for not optimizing first and then and then making blueprints. Uh, ooh. okay. Uh, do while this is pending. Do while this is pending. Add a connection to here. Do while this is pending. Or actually, I could get that to do that once, and it's not a big deal. Perform action once on new order. Yeah. Um, I should turn that off. Um, actually, could I? Okay, so it doesn't allow me to just do it once for the conveyor stuff. Okay, that's fine. Turn on while order is pending, turn on while order is pending, and then this guy is connected to those. Everything is fine there. Okay, so that is that is optimized. Cool. All right, so um, let's double check that the side salad is uh, working. Now that we've like... That, that isn't good. Did I get the salad out the door? Side salad, one, one, and one. One time's on new order, one time on new order. Um, this is just giving me problems because uh, I'm using a, whatever. Th this should be fine. This should be fine. Um, why is that? So this is off. Why is that off? Off while order is pending, on while order is pending. Thank you. And that was probably what was held up anyways. Two, three, side salad going. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that one's fine. Let's figure out what's going on with our burger at this point. Um, so we have raw patty. Um, we have cheese, which we are processing correctly. We have tomato, lettuce, and bun. So if I can do, uh, does lettuce need, 
Lettuce doesn't need cut. Lettuce can just come out. Tomato... Wait, what? Shredded lettuce. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to add just one more line up here. Which will be a dispenser. A dispenser. This guy is going to do tomato. This guy is going to do um, lettuce, which I don't need it shredded. Um, let me do a food processor. Oop, that ain't right. Thank you. Um, and let me upgrade these guys to speedy belts. Um, this may be way too much for one, um, for one dumb arm, but we'll live and learn. We'll figure it out. Real talk, I could totally do this. We'll figure out if we need it. Uh, I lied. We're, if we need it, we will add it. Just, just one thing at a time. One thing at a time, Ivy. Um, recipe to follow. We'll get the Texas burger. Yeah, Texas burger. Finished dishes on the left is fine. Operation mode is fine. Okay, so now we need um a pump for barbecue sauce and hot sauce, which we need to mix and then bring over to the Texas burger. Um, which means that we need two storage tanks, we need a pump, two pumps, we need a liquid mixer, we need another pump. So, uh, this is going to make spicy barbecue sauce. Perfect. And then this pump is going to go here to here. Forty and ten. This is going to store barbecue sauce. And this is going to pump barbecue sauce to the storage tank. Give me 40 barbecue sauce. Okay. This is going to go. Oh. This is going to go hot sauce, right? Hot sauce is 10. Uh, 10 of hot sauce to the mixer. Okay. Um, and then this is going to take 50 from the mixer to here. Spaghetti pipe, by the way. Um, okay, so that is totally good there. Um, we'll figure out how to do all the order stuff. Oh, oh sorry. All right. This should be good, right? We just have to set it up properly. Let me get um, a conveyor belt fast, just to make sure that all of that gets sent out. This guy, on Texas Burger, I want to get one raw patty, one cheese, one burger, um, and then have the conveyor grill on while it's pending. It's one of everything. Oh, why didn't that not? Texas Burger, okay, thank you. Everything else is fine. Okay. This guy, Texas Burger, food processor on when it's pending. Here, um, I want to perform action once. Um, I want, uh, wait. Oh, I have a second food processor, which we're gonna keep on while the order is pending. Um, we're going to dispense with one tomato. And then I need another one. Um, see, I think this is potentially where the the big computer probably could um, order to detect new connection to part. If I tell that on when output is on. We're just gonna keep on going with order readers for right now. If things get too complicated, then we'll then we'll start thinking about other stuff. But um, we want to have the lettuce dispense one. Uh, we need the pump to uh, turn turn on or off. I 
think we're just going to pump everything through. We're not going to worry about, um... Why did that not work? I don't know. Turn it on once. Okay. We're not going to worry about, um, about the pumping. We're just going to assume that the pumping is going to be working as fast as possible and things like that. Time between pumping actions. One. Um, we're, we're going to assume that that all, that all works its way out. Um, okay. So I need to figure out fried chick. Oh, actually we should, uh, test, test the Texas burger. Um, boop, boop. So it sends everything out. This dumb arm kind of pulls some things over. It makes it and it sends it out. Okay. So now then, let's get, um, gee with it. Let's get as much space as humanly possible. Conveyor belt fast. There we go. There we go. Hot wings, which I need hot sauce for, which this only allows one connection. So I'm going to need a second storage for that. That seems dumb. That seems dumb. Okay, so let's get uh, raw chicken, egg, and bread slice. One and one and one. Raw chicken. Okay. Um, egg. Eggies, thank you. And a bread slice. Perfect. Now... Um, I need to break each one of these down using a processor. One, two, three. Um, the next thing that I need is to combine all of them into a breaded in an assembler. Yes, 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 yes. Conveyor belt. Good, good, good. Assembler at the top. Perfect. This will um, make breaded chicken pieces. Perfect. And then I take those out. And actually, I might need to completely reverse this, but we'll see. Um, I need to take those out using a arm. Robotic arm dumb. We'll hang a left. Um, we need to put this into a fry matic and then we need a smart arm. Oop, that ain't right. That's backwards. That's backwards. We're going to take out the fried chicken pieces. Perfect. And then from there, where do I need to go? I need to go into a, um... I need to go into an advanced assembler. Indeed. And that advanced assembler is going to be making hot wings. Okay. And this design won't work. And also I forgot a, an input here. Okay. Um, let's go this, 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 and this. Got it. Rotate them, guys. Um, let's put this over here. And actually that over there for right now. Um, okay. This, this is just a cluster. Just completely ignore the cluster, team. Um, we're going to put this this way. Um, get everything going that way. And then I can go and grab a arm, which I forgot. A dumb arm and specifically I'm going to the left with it so we're gonna do this all of this will come out go into this assembler um, this can go straight now okay gonna use all the space by the way um, and I've run out of money big oof by the way Big oof. Um, okay, so we've got that. I need a storage tank. And I need a pump. Uh, this storage tank needs to hold hot sauce. I don't understand initial load or anything like that. Like, why, why is it not infinite like everything else? Question mark. 
How much am I pumping onto these? 20? Good, that's fine. Um, and then I should be able to get a normal arm. And pump this over to the right hand side. Now, oh, this is going to go continuously because I don't have a single. I don't have a single computer on this. Um, so now I'm over by a little bit. Potentially this this turning on and off is a problem. I think what we're going to do is oh, that ain't right. Bread slice, perform once. I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove one of the efficiency computers that we that we have. Um, why would that not? Oh, OK, do once and then we'll the fryers. The I believe the fryer is the um, the highest power one. So we'll do that. Let's actually check that while we're looking at things. 4,000 watts, 5,000 watts, and uh, this. But I wonder if that's only whenever that's working. The fryer is 3,000 whenever it's uh, whenever it's constantly going. So I think these don't um, consume anything unless if they're actually like working. All right. So now I need to figure out my efficiency. Dispenser lettuce. So we're going to remove you. And then this guy's dispenser conveyor grill. That's fine. What about you? You're working on. Um, we're going to do this guy. Dispenser lettuce dispense one. OK, so we're a little bit under budget now. We're a little bit under budget now. Um, we aren't we're similar efficiency, to be honest. Um, because this this will only work whenever it's waiting for ingredient uh, whenever it has ingredients anyways um, So this in theory should work. Let's simulate hot wings just to make sure that um, This is going it outputs things that has salmonella it goes in here and output perfect So this should work um, Has decent efficiency under budget um, Exactly the way that we like it team so hopefully Oh, this, this is a lot. This is a lot. I'm trying to think how we could um, optimize this further, but um, that's a lot of orders all at once. Uh, my dumb arm is a little too slow. I'm worried. I'm worried that my dumb arm's a little bit too slow. I think I might need to upgrade that guy to a long arm to speed him up. What's on fire? Why is it on fire? <gasps> Only you can prevent forest fires. Shit. $250 over? Dude, can I just get a loan? Wait. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little slow, but it'll work. Uh, real talk, it's probably better for me to put uh, fast guys further back and uh, slow guys like put the slow guy here because this is receiving double the orders um, at the very end. But, you know, that's fine. You know, not a big deal. Um, I'm just hoping that doesn't light on fire anymore. That would be bad. Um, <sighs> All right, Salmonella's headed out over this area. This uh, fire hazard? It's just saying that this is a fire hazard. I think. I think everything else is fine. None. All right, that's working way better. We've delivered enough dishes. Let's make sure. Ah, too much energy. We could. I don't know how we could be more efficient. 
I don't know how we can be more efficient team. I'm gonna go with it. Uh, we potentially, I don't know where we can see things. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.